Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last session, I have explained about open loop control system. In this session, I will be discussing about closed loop control system. Let us have a definition about closed loop control system. A system, you can note down, a system in which the controlling action the controlling action the controlling action or input or input is somehow is somehow dependent on the output on the output or changes in the output or changes in the output changes in the output is known as closed loop control system closed loop control system one of the most important factor of closed input closed loop control system is there will be one feedback element that means to have dependence to have dependence of input of input on the output such systems uses the feedback property uses the feedback property feedback property so after completion of workshop or seminar we usually conduct one feedback session that means uh, how about the output we can evaluate just for the evaluation of the output nature of the output so there will be one feedback okay uh, this is about closed loop definition of closed loop control system now let us draw one simple block diagram of closed loop control system. We have plant or process, you know, plant or process. Plant or process. Or process. This will be the controlled variable, obviously, this will be the controlled variable, seal. Now we have controller. We have controller. Output of controller will be manipulated variable, which you already discussed. We already studied in the last sessions. Then we have reference or command signal. Command signal or reference or set point. Anything you can call, it, no issues. Then what is the peculiarity of the system is? We already studied in the definition that we will be using one feedback property or we will be using one feedback element. So in order to understand the nature of output variable that means controlled variable. So we will be taking one feedback. We will be taking one feedback. How to measure? That means with the help of sensor you can understand. You can uh, understand the nature of output. You can easily understand the nature of output with the help of a sensor. With the help of a sensor you can easily understand the output so I will be connecting one sensor I will be using one sensor just for the measurement purpose that will be feeding to a controller that is directly feeding to controller ok so please copy the diagram this is a typical example of a closed loop control system now let us explain what is a closed loop control system so here this actually sensor uh, the sensor gets the information on controlled variable and passes the information to the controller it will be taking the information about controlled variable and it is getting measured and directly feeding to the controller the controller gets the information about the disturbances indirectly suppose there may be a disturbance here there may be a disturbance or noises ok this may change the output obviously this may change the control variable so what it, what feedback element is actually feedback feedback 
feedback element. What feedback element does? It understands the changes in the output and it directly feeds to controller. Alright. Then, what controller does? Controller is getting compared uh, the command signal or reference signal with respect to the controlled variable which is measuring through sensor. These are the two, uh, in, uh, two inputs I can say. One is actually command signal, other will be feedback. The controller will be controlling the command signal as well as uh, the feedback signals. Then uh, the difference. The difference is generally called as error signal. That means controller compares actual controlled variable, actual controlled variable and command signal and it generate error signal. Here error signal will be generated. That error signal utilized to generate the proper manipulated signal, the error signal. The error signal will be responsible for generation of proper manipulated variable. Finally, it tries to reduce the error signal to zero. If error signal is getting reduced, zero means the system is getting stable, system is getting normal. All right. The system ensure error self-nulling process. Finally, it tries to achieve zero error that or we can call error nulling process. Error between actual variable and command signal reduces to zero. That is a peculiarity which will be taking place over here. So this type of system that is generally known as closed loop control system. I would like to modify the closed loop control system in another manner. Okay. So let us see the modified closed loop control system. We are drawing the modified form of control system. It's almost similar but I will be showing some modifications. Let us draw first. So we have plant. Output will be controlled variable. This is y of t that is actually output. Okay. Basically controlled variable. Output. Then we have controller. We have controller. We are having controller. Then here we are having one comparator. We are having one comparator. Now consider a feedback element. Here there will be feedback element. That means you can use one sensor for the measurement purpose. Sensor that is for measurement purpose. And you can directly connect to comparator. So comparator will be comparing. This will be your command or reference. Command or reference signal. So I will be calling R of T. I will be calling R of T. And this will be the feedback. That means reference signal means input. This will be the input. True. This will be the output. Uh, this section is generally known as comparator or error detector. Comparator or we can call error detector. Comparator or error detector. Alright. This will be the feedback element. Feedback element. Alright. Now, uh, the difference between the feedback signal, this will be the feedback signal and this will be the command. The difference between uh, reference signal as well as feedback signal that is known as error signal. It is represented by E of T. Okay. Now, this error signal that will be feeding to controlled variable and this controlled variable generates or it generates manipulated variable. Okay. The error nullifying process will be continuously moving on all type of control system. It is a continuous process and it will be continuing and it will be repeatedly uh, continuing in the control system. Closed loop control system. Okay. Error nullification process. This va error value will be tending to zero. Error value. Try to nullify the errors. The closed loop control system is actually trying to nullify errors such a way that system is becoming normal and they improve the performance. The feedback may be either positive feedback or negative. The feedback. If it is negative then it is known as negative feedback. And if it is positive, then it is known as positive feedback. Suppose if the comment signal that is positive or uh, the feedback signal that is negative, then it becomes negative feedback. There will be two types of feedback system. Uh, negative feedback system, negative feedback system and 
पॉजिटिव फीडबैक सिस्टम पॉजिटिव फीडबैक दैट विल बी एक्सप्लेन इन देर आफ्टर दैट मीन्स फीडबैक इज अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ सिस्टम दिस फीडबैक विच परमिट the output to be compared with the reference signal to generate the error signal to generate the error signal uh, based on which appropriate controlling action can be decided that's a peculiarity that's a peculiarity of the closed loop control system we will be having some real time application of closed loop control system so that you will be having some better understanding so first one of the best example is human being human being let me draw one block diagram before that if a person wants to reach for a book on the table the following closed loop action will be followed let us see how a person wants to reach for a book on a particular table let us have a, a brief one block diagram and with the help of block diagram i can explain very easily how human being is belong to closed loop control system simple block diagram the main thing is the main process or plan that we can make out our hands the control control will be our brain obviously brain will be controlling everything brain true this will be the desired output let it be now better mark one comparator you can make one comparator here how the controlled variable that means desired position of hands how it is getting measured it will be measured obviously it will be uh, it will be measured with the help of i it will be directly measured with the help of i measurement human i the feedback will be directly moving on one point of comparator this will be the reference hand position this will be the reference position of the hand reference reference position of hand reference position required position reference position and uh, this will be the output that means desired position of the hand desired position or actual position i can call actual or desired position of the hand or actual desired or you can call actual uh, here we are have one input is reference position of the hand the output will be actual position of the hand or desired position of the hand then what it does Uh, with the help of feedback element, I will be act as a feedback element. It will be comparing the actual position of the hand as well as reference position of the hand. Then error signal will be generated. Error signal will be directly moving on to uh, brain, brain. Such a way that brain will act as a control element. It will be generating manipulated variable. That will be directly feeding towards your plant. Plant means our hands. Plant or process that will be denoting our hands. Such a way that you will be getting uh, the desired position of the hand. This is a very simple example of closed loop control system, uh, which will be happening in our body. The next example of closed loop control system is automatic, automatic home heating system. Home. heating system let us draw a simple block diagram regarding automatic home heating system so we have heating system this is the main main heart of the thing heating system or heater we can call heater let it be heater heater that that will be acting as process or plant there should be a controller there should be controller some control valve let me call let me say control valve that will be valve valve this will act as a control element and we must have one comparator obviously we must have one comparator then desired temperature will be the actual or reference temperature reference temperature should be the or desired temperature or reference temperature whatever it may be then this will be the house temperature this will be house temperature house house temperature with how to measure the actual house temperature it can be measured with the help of one feedback element that i can use one kind of temperature sensor temperature sensor lm34 any of the temperature sensor can be used temperature sensor can be used 
and it will be sensing and directly feeding to comparator positive negative normally negative feedback is preferred i will tell you the reason why negative feedback is required after completion of this session i'll be explaining after completion of the portion i'll be explaining that okay here this is one of the typical example that means the heater that is a process for plant valve is a controller house temperature means this will be the controlled variable what it does it measures the temperature with the help of a temperature sensor i can use temperature temperature sensor basically this will be a temperature sensor and it measures the actual temperature and directly feeding to comparator what comparator does comparator is comparing reference temperature and the actual temperature and it will produce the error signal it will produce the error signal uh, with the help of uh, valve what will happen it will be producing manipulated variable manipulated variable and such a way that it will maintain the particular amount of uh, house temperature okay the error signal error value that is trying to zero such a way that system is becoming uh, normal or we can say stable system but it takes some time all right so this process will be continuously repeating such, such a way that automatic heating system will be carried out okay this is another example of closed loop control system let me show another example that is ship stabilization system i'll be writing ship ship stabilization system here the process or plant that will be ship obviously that will be ship yes or no yes then controller controller we can make out that fin actuator fin fin actuator that is a controller this will be actual controlled rod actual control rod then we have one comparator we need to take the feedback that means position one position sensor is required so we can write roll sensor one roll sensor is required roll sensor one roll sensor and that will be directly feeding to comparator then desired roll this will be the desired roll desired roll that will be theta r desired roll actual roll position theta c all right then what is this roll sensor used as a feedback element this one roll roll sensor will be used as a feedback element then desired roll position is theta r that is a desired roll position then actual roll position is theta c correct then actual roll position theta r is compared with desired roll position uh, actually this is actually actual roll position that is theta c and this will be desired roll position theta r both are compared why because there is a feedback element and this will be comparator obviously this will be comparator and of course uh, theta c will be compared with respect to theta r as a result what will happen uh, definitely there will be error signal will be generated error signal error signal will be generated this error signal will be directly feeding to controller such a way that manipulated variable will be formulated this manipulated variable will uh, move move to a process or system or plant process system or plant anything you can say that will be directly moving to the process or a plant and what will happen actual controlled rod will be generated actual particular controlled rod particular angle theta c that will be generated it tries to minimize the error the error signal is uh, trying to minimize to zero value so this control action will be continuously taken place this uh, this activates fin actuator in proper way to stabilize the ship as shown in the block diagram the stabilization action will be taken place in the ship very good control system will be taken place in ship also it is one of the major application in engineering field there are lot more applications i can list out I, I, for the time being i'll be listing out all the applications other applications you can study it later dc motor speed control dc motor speed control then servo voltage stabilizer 
सर्वो वोल्टेज स्टेबिलाईजर ऑटोमॅटिक इलेक्ट्रिक आयर्न बॉक्स ऑटोमॅटिक इलेक्ट्रिक आयर्न बॉक्स ऑटो पायलट फॉर एअरक्राफ्ट देन रेल्वे रिझर्वेशन स्टॅटस डिस्प्ले रेल्वे रिझर्वेशन स्टॅटस डिस्प्ले तर आर लॉट मोर अप्लिकेशन ओके i think you have got a good idea of how to explain closed loop control system in a proper manner uh, this example also you can explain with the help of block diagram so let us conclude what is a closed loop control system that means a system in which controlling action or input is somehow dependent on the output or changes in the output is called a closed loop control system one of the peculiarity we are having feedback element in the closed loop control system so that it tries to get the output it senses the output through a sensor and it will be comparing with the input or reference signal and uh, generate a particular error signal that error signal will helps to maintain the system in a proper manner all right so this is about closed loop control system there are lot more application in closed loop control system okay thanks for watching this video please share and don't forget to subscribe